Hey, I hope you're doing well. Thanks for stopping by. In this video, I'm going to show you how I machined these rouleau triangles. They don't serve any real purpose. They're just kind of cool objects to make, and they're more of like a desktop ornament. However, mathematically, these are called solids of constant width. So however you have it oriented or rolled or whatever, it's always going to be the same distance from the surface that it's resting on to its highest most point if that makes sense and that never changes however you have it oriented or rolled in whichever way After the parts already been parted off, I'm left with this little pip here, and I cut it off with some precision side snips for electrical cutting, and that gets me as close as possible, and then I put it in my little south bend manually, then hit it with some sandpaper real quick to remove the rest of the pip that's left, and that's it. By the way, I barely tighten this thing down in the manual lathe so it doesn't mar the edges of the brass. So I put the bar feeder on and ran a few sets of these and then that was it. There's not much to it. The programming was probably the hardest part for me, but it was a it was a fun program to make and it got me comfortable with like backside grooving with that multi tool that I that I showed. And I've showed a video using that tool in the past as well with backside grooving and profiling. It's pretty cool. But now I'm going to show the programming part of how I made this. So first off I come in here with a VCGT tool and I do the facing pass then I rough everything out here you can see the green is the stock that's left and I bring in a finishing pass and it comes in and it kinda of finishes the backside a little bit but not much the grooving tool will do that so then I come in here and do what I call the roughing passes of the grooving tool and this is also like a multi-tool multi-use tool so it can be loaded with sideways pressure I guess you could say so that's why I kind of like to use it, and it's I always keep it in the machine. So I do the roughing passes with the grooving tool, and then I do one finishing pass with the grooving tool, and that kind of gets this rounded edge here. The tool path looks odd, but that's because it's using the back side. It's using this point right here on the back side of the tool as the point. So that's why it looks odd right here, but it's just trying to get that little rounded edge. But then it comes in and parts everything off, and then I come in and finish parting off the little extra material that's left that sticks out. I need that just because I need to I need more room to bring the tool in and, and clear everything out like I should. So that's the only reason for leaving this little area here. And I don't mind it's not a whole lot of material. But that's that. 